In 1994, the FIFA World Cup landed in North America, bigger than ever. Record. second round and finally the boys have been separated from the men we are in the quarterfinals and what a drama yesterday and what a humiliating score we saw against Portugal and Switzerland well Africa is proud to have Morocco right in there the Arab world is proud to also have Morocco right in there but it has made a bold statement that you could have what it takes it is the final result that counts and that's the third time Spain will be going to penalty shootout in a major competition and losing out but that as it may there are pundits already saying Morocco could eventually become the World Cup winner. It's good to dream, it's very fantastic to dream, but actualizing it, that is a big issue. So, this afternoon we'll take a cue into a lot of events that has happened within the World Cup. We'll also let you know that Pele is in good state of health. He's coming out from the, um, the state we initially thought it would be critical, but good as it may, um, FIFA president is also playing a key role when it comes to humanitarian. But the big games are coming up Saturday, and it is England versus France, the Lions versus the Le Blues. My name is Prince Lovisa, and they call me the Duke, uh, lest I forget, the Maracana uh, soccer fiesta is rolling on right there in Ajibale. That's my hood, so it will be a peace beat that will start off with this afternoon. But before we do that, let me quickly tell you that the guys are ready to go. And they are smiling because Africa is doing well. Do you want to go right in your video? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Duke. I'm actually smiling because um, a lot of people felt all the African teams will be out of the World Cup. Right now, Morocco have just proved a lot of people wrong. So, I mean, it's, it's so beautiful the way it is right now. Very beautiful, Joel. I agree with you in totality. Also, joining me is Alaji Luaki West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you have in there is just like the Alaji we see out there. I have to represent my Moroccan counterpart. Oh, so, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so wonderful. this goes beyond smiling. This okay. is laughter, this is celebration and happiness. Yes. We're so proud of them. Very, very proud of them. Um, candidly speaking, most times when you speak and you make predictions, it's not because there's something right in there. It is the instinct and the belief you have. I remember we all agreed that the African teams will progress into the second round and luck being on their side, they might be in the quarter. But would they continue the journey? That's a big question because the Moroccan team will be playing one of the top-notch football, soccer, embodied team in the world, that's Portugal. How will it go? Spain came, they were run down. Now, I, I need to ask my guys in here a very pertinent question. I did ask them on Monday what has been their total review of the World Cup, and they gave me their own view. Today, I'll be asking them who is going to be the next champion of the world. I'll start with you, well. Right now, we have top eight teams right in there. We have Morocco up. I have to start from Africa. Sure, sure. Africa. We have Morocco, uh, we have Portugal, we have Brazil, we have France, we have England, Netherlands, uh, Netherlands and um, one of that team? Of course, Croatia. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, I'll just have to apologize to West because I told him Croatia would be going home considering the fact that they were playing against uh, the Japanese, but they were very, very disappointed. Uh, that's the Japanese I mean to So, <laughs> yo, you, who do you think will be the next World Cup champion before we start with the Maracana soccer fiesta? Well, as a matter of fact, you have eight teams right now. Not just any kind of team. Eight good teams. Eight professional team. Eight standard team. World class teams right now. Because the way it is, uh, Morocco has gone into the I mean, class of you know, world champions yeah. right now. You know, and um, for me, looking at the Brazil and the way they started so far, even if they lost the last group today, you know what we felt? It would have been a clean slate. All nine points. I mean, nine points all the way. But they told you, look, yeah, let me rush some players and bring some other players. And look at the French players. They didn't lose any game. The way they started and. And look no, at they the lost. Uh, they did lost. They, yes. they pulled the draw. No, they lost. 
Okay, fine. Even with the Rats lock, one zero. Even with the lock, but looking at, I mean, look at that team holistically. They are very, very solid from the attack, midfield, and the defense line. And also for the Netherlands, who nobody saw, you know, nobody believed they could get to where they are right now. Very because, strong. Yeah, they have, you. yeah, they have an experienced coach. I agree right with you. I agree they have to call him back, you yes. know, and they made something good out of that team. Even if they felt the midfield in that a little bit poorer, but you have an attack line with an experienced player like Memphis Depay. You know, it's exploits in EPL. Also, I mean, in the La Liga. So, so for me, I cannot tell you this is the champion right now. But for me, if Argentina. Cross in semi final, they'll pick up the trophy. And for you? I don't. Uh, well, for me, for me, I think I think the trophy will go to to Brazil. I think so. And com looking at that team, that team is just compact. Every 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 department of that squad has a very good replacement. And 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 one thing about the Brazilian is they are the only team in this World Cup that has fielded all their players. Yes. Even the third goalkeeper. Has had a taste of the World Cup, so that means they are so confident, bringing every everybody to participate because they trust every department. And I see that team; it's 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 Brazil's World Cup. All right, um, it's a different opinion from different folks, but I honestly believe that the team, the two teams that get to the final, will be worthy champions. Either they lose or win. Let's come back to the who, the home front, where it is Fort Gallo, uh starting from yesterday or. Yes, yesterday, teams in Ajegule, that's my hood, I've been having it pretty good. It is the Maracana Soccer Street Fiesta, where officially that pitch that has produced the likes of Ojo Egalo and so many others will be commissioned. And as I speak with you, there are games going on right in there. Today, um, Quarra United will be playing Nap Boys and Remo Stars will be playing Smart City. But if I start with that, uh, yesterday, Ajegule United stunned Remo Stars. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, nobody saw that coming. Anything could happen in football. And um, the, the, the surprise for me was that Ajigula United is, I mean, it's a, it's a new team. Less, less than, less than, than, less than three months. months. Yeah, less than, less than four months. Thank you. Because I knew where they started. So um, I, I think when you have a coach like Peter Neketin, I mean, an ex international, super good flying eagles. What is it like? Mark, Mark Antonio. Antonio. These are football. guys that want to do football business. And part of the football business is part of technical dis discipline. I've seen that team the way they train, they play series of friendly matches and all that. And they really want to make a name for themselves. So these are guys that are trained under the sun, and they are not new to Maracana. They've been there all the while training. So, um, and for and for Remo Stars, it's a preseason for them. Yeah. I don't I don't know if they brought their A list. Yes, they did. I, I I saw them this afternoon doing a warm up, and those boys are raring to go. They are okay. talent. Okay, but 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 yeah, like, you can't take away the element of surprise in football. But for me, I love when Joel is using that right now. <laughs> He's making me excited. <laughs> but I tell you what, like I said, for me, yeah, it has to do with football. A lot of stuff happen, and these guys, Ajula United, they're like a grassroots team, so yes. they want to get into the professional. So, beating a team like Remonster tells you, I can be part of Remonster. All right, uh, for you, West, it's a soccer street fiesta. Ajula is a hub of football when it comes to um, grooming them or catching them young. Uh, what kind of event are you expecting to see? The, the final is coming up on Friday. And who is who in Lagos State football? The governor is going to be there. It's an event that will definitely launch Ajegule again into the world. Yeah, like we all know, Ajegule has been a, has been a ground for bringing up stars. We have we have seen stars come out from Ajegule to represent this country, and I and I think taking it back to the streets, I I think it's a very good one. It it we, we saw what happened, shocking Remo stars. It's something so huge. And we can we can always believe that there is good football when it comes to going grassroots. These boys are hungry. These boys want to prove themselves that they can be at the top, and they did that against your monsters. Right. So we can only believe that so many great talents will emerge from this match. Very true, very true. For today, being Wednesday, seventh of December, Quara United will be playing that boys. That game has already been played. Uh, Remo Stars, right as I speak with you, is ongoing in the Maracana 11 aside pitch against Smart City FC. Smart City FC uh, won the Jagaban Cup right there at uh, Mobalali Bakantoni. And I saw the makeup of that thing. Talented young boys who are ready to go. I tell you what, major talented young boys, a lot of players would um, believe that they can make it in football like the big guys in the Super Eagles because um, and day in, day out, they keep producing talent. Apart from Brazil, Nigeria has what it takes to be in forefront when it comes to football. But administrative mm -hmm. wise, we always have a problem. And for Smart City, this is a team that went to Morocco for preseason. What do you expect? They play in the NNL and uh, they are made up of young players, I mean, less than 18 years old. So, what else do you expect? Yeah. They'll give you speed, you know, 
give you strength and all that. So, and you're having a coach like uh, Gafaro, I spoke to him one on one, you know, to pass screen television and all that. He told me he has a lot to offer to, I mean, to Nigeria when it comes to, you know, grassroots football. So, I'm not surprised where Smart City is right now. All right, our focus is straight to Ajegula right there, Maracana. Games are still ongoing tomorrow. Teams will be slotting out against each other, seven aside and the eleven aside competition right there at the Maracana uh, Stadium. It is called Maracana Street Soccer Fiesta. The grand final will be on Friday, and your sincerely Super Screen TV will be physically present. And I can assure you that the Sports Council right there in Adjugula is doing all it can to project football in the right direction when it comes to Ajegule and the world. What else again? All right, guys, we'll quickly go on this break. We'll come back, we'll talk about the World Cup and the thriller that came out yesterday. We'll be right back. Come on, come on, come on. 